हेलो व्यूवर्स वी वेलकम यू टू आवर चैनल एस्ट्रोलॉजर डॉक्टर आर पी शर्मा वी वुड लाइक टू इन्फॉर्म यू दैट दिस चैनल इज डेडिकेटेड टू रिसर्च बेस्ड इनोवेटिव एंड ओरिजिनल वीडियोज इन द फील्ड ऑफ एस्ट्रोलॉजी वास्तु एंड वैदिक एंड पौराणिक स्क्रिप्चर्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस एस्ट्रोलॉजिकली द प्रजेंट एंड फ्यूचर ऑफ चाइनीज इकोनॉमी The International Monetary Fund (IMF) says China's economic decline is likely to continue over the next four years, as the world's second-largest economy deals with a range of challenges from a rapidly aging population, higher unemployment, and the property crisis. The IMF projected Chinese economic growth would drop to 4.6 percent this year, down from its 5.2 percent growth. last year that is in 2023 and it may fall further to 3.4% by 2028 according to the time china is in the midst of the deep economic crisis china's debt to gdp ratio reached a record of 288% in 2023 china's overall debt has increased relative to the size of its economy china has a high level of corporate debt about 131% of gdp china has a youth unemployment crisis china's economic decline is likely to continue over the next 4 years there are reports that mutual fund investment in china have reduced to over 35% further the chinese investors are rushing abroad for investment although several reasons have been attributed to the slowing down of economy in china some of them are disastrous zero covid policy covering up deadly covid pandemic fighting with the neighbors rapidly aging population now let us examine the reasons for slowing down of the chinese economy in the horoscope of china and analyze it through vedic astrology principles and rules but before we proceed further please subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon so that you get timely notification of our videos dear viewers the horoscope of china is displayed on your screen you will observe that it has got capricorn ascendant and the moon is posited in it therefore the ascendant chart and the moon chart remain the same the ascendant lord saturn is in the sign of leo in the 8th house Rahu is in the third house in the sign of Pisces and Ketu is in the sign of Virgo in the ninth house the sun and mercury are also posited in the sign of Virgo along with the Ketu in the ninth house the Venus is in the sign of Libra in the tenth house and the Mars is debilitated in the seventh house but there is a niche bhanga yog as the mars is exalted in the navman chart which is popularly known as the d9 chart the mars however is malefic for the capricorn ascendant the jupiter is in its own sign sagittarius in the 12th house now let us look at the vinshotri dasha at present the mahadasha of mercury is running from 2019 and the antardasha is of venus Mercury in this horoscope is combust and retrograde and therefore malefic in character as i stated earlier the mercury is malefic in this horoscope because it is combust and retrograde and from the incidents which has already happened it is proved that the period from 2019 onwards has been very critical and challenging for china the onset of covid started in the end of 2019 and continued till the end of antardasha of mercury subsequent to it the sub period or we call it antardasha of ketu came for one year and ketu in this horoscope is also posited along with the sun and mercury in the nakshatra of chitra and chitra the lord of which is mars which is debilitated in the natal chart 
of China in this horoscope in the seventh house. Subsequent to this, the Antardasha of Venus came. Venus in this horoscope is in the nakshatra of Vishakha, the lord of which is Jupiter. Jupiter in this horoscope is in its own sign Sagittarius in the twelfth house. Further, the natal Venus is aspected by two malefics, Mars and Saturn, and therefore the natal Venus could not become benefic in character and so is proved by the incidents like the economy of China. Next year would be the Antardasha of Sun which is the 8th Lord posited in the 9th along with the Ketu. Now you may have a look at the current transit of the planets in the horoscope which is displayed on your screen. It is observed that Rahu in transit is passing over the natal Rahu and similarly the transiting Ketu is passing over the natal Ketu exactly at the same degrees of 23 which is very very significant and indicates the serious challenges and transformation in the matters related to the houses and signs they are transiting. Currently Saturn is transiting in Aquarius and Mars in Capricorn. As per the Vedic astrology, the finances and economy are seen from the second house and the 11th house. The speculative returns on investments are seen from the 5th house and the return on the assets received from the legacy are seen from the 8th house. The 2nd, 5th, 8th and 11th houses are the significators for the economy of a country. Interestingly, all these houses are in Kendra to each other. Secondly, all these signs are fixed signs. In Vedic astrology, the second house and the houses in Kendra to second house are called Panfar houses. And as I said earlier, they are responsible for economy and finances. Now let us look at these houses and see how the current transit is affecting these four houses. It is observed that the second house has the transiting Saturn in the sign of Aquarius. This transiting Saturn is in juxtaposition to the natal Saturn in the 8th house. The natal Saturn in the 8th house in the sign of Leo is aspected by both the transiting malefic planets namely Saturn and Mars. The 11th house is aspected by transiting Rahu and Saturn, both malefic planets. The 5th house is in the sign of Taurus, which is aspected by transiting Ketu. The ascendant and the natal moon are also aspected by the transiting Ketu. Thus we observe that all the Panfar houses are either having transiting malefics in them or aspected by the transiting malefics. Thus, seriously affecting the finances and economy of the country. The transiting Ketu would be passing over the natal Mercury shortly which is responsible for the trade and business activities. This malefic Ketu would be seriously damaging the economy of the country. So the planetary position in the horoscope of China, the Vinshotri Dasha and the transiting planets indicate that the growth rate may further go down. The debts continue to increase. The global trade tensions may further seriously hit the economy of China in the coming years. It may be due to the changing policies and priorities of China due to compelling geopolitical pressures. The Chinese currency Yuan against US dollar may further go down. The people of China would be losing confidence in the investment opportunities in their own country. The industries and manufacturing units may face unforeseen challenges in the matter of labor and finances. The labor problem in the manufacturing industry and business hubs may further become more acute. After the month of April this year, there might be imposition of fresh stringent rules in the real estate sector and for curbing the overseas investments. The declining trends of Chinese economy may continue up till the year 2032 when the Antardasha of Jupiter in the Mahadasha of Mercury ends. Dear viewers, if you have liked our video then please share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel 
to get interesting and informative videos in future and press the bell icon so that you do not miss any notification thank you very much for watching this video om namah shivaya